hard to even say the first few words. I've tried to make this video I don't even know how many times and uh, I haven't been able to do it until now. Uh, it's been a lot. I've gone through uh, a lot. My kids have gone through a lot. But, um, right after I made the last video for my channel, which, as some of you know, has been a pretty long time, my wife. Veronica passed away very suddenly and unexpectedly in the middle of the day. And, uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to trying to keep it together here um not many of you know that uh she had some medical issues um she had type 1 diabetes and epilepsy uh she was diagnosed when she was 12 years old and um she made it to the age of 39 we thought she had a lot more in her for sure, but uh, life just happens, you know? So, uh, um, I stopped making videos. I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't take it on. Uh, there was a whole lot of heartache and grief and pain just a lot of emotions around that and uh, I couldn't seem to do that let alone much else uh, I'm still having troubles with it obviously uh, well not obviously but uh, <laughs> suffice to say I'm not doing well it's been two and a half years now, almost. She passed away April 30th, 2022. I, uh, just not doing good. I haven't been able to really get back in the groove of things. I have two small children. Uh, my daughter was 18 months at the time, and my son was three. Well, two and a half. <laughs> and uh, they're currently almost four and six. I've been doing the best I can to take care of them, but I won't say I've been doing a great job, honestly. But, uh, yeah, um, I, I have tried and thought about making this video ever since the day it happened and, um, every time I think about it, I just get overcome with anxiety and fear and, uh, I don't know, part of it is being scared maybe someone will make fun of me. I, I don't know. Um, part of it is just it's tough. It's tough putting yourself out there in a fragile state. It's tough showing emotion, especially for men. For me, even and uh i 
I've learned over the years that's okay, but it still doesn't make it less hard. Part of this is uh, to say goodbye, in a way. Even though that happened a long time ago. doesn't make it any less difficult to say. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to uh, completely fall apart on camera here. I really hope none of you ever have to deal with something like this. It's probably one of the worst things to ever have to go through. They say when someone close to you dies, you lose a part of you. And that a part of you dies as well. And that is so true. I feel like I lost a part of myself that day. And I haven't been able to get it back. I really didn't want to ever make this. Not just for the fact that I never expected this to happen. But also for the simple fact that... Uh, I have a lot of fear in life and uh, vulnerability is one of those. It's not easy to do this, but I feel that doing this, if it can even help one other person understand that it is okay to be vulnerable and to show their emotions, open themselves up to someone, anyone, and try to ask for help. Then it was completely worth making this video. I'm going to be making more videos soon. My life has changed a lot in the last couple of years. In some ways for the better. Well, in a lot of ways for the better, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. what it's going to take for me to get better for lack of a better term I know I'm not being very eloquent right now but it's extremely difficult for me I mean, I'm shaking right now, just thinking about the fact that a lot of people are gonna see this. But I'm doing it. I'm not really going to go into all the details of exactly what happened, but suffice it to say, she passed away due to the complications surrounding diabetes and epilepsy. 
she was a wonderful woman. She did a lot for me. She did a lot for our kids. She loved us very much. We loved her. <sighs> More than we could ever state. <sighs> oh, God. I just want everybody to know that I appreciate you. Everyone who's reached out. Everyone who's tried to help. Everyone who's said anything. I'm sorry I haven't been more present. It's just very difficult. I'm trying. I'm trying for the sake of uh, my kids. I'm trying for the sake of my family. For the sake of myself, even. And that's, that's why I'm doing this. Like I said, if this can help even one person ask for help or open up about their pain regarding anything then it was all worth it I love you Veronica I always will Thank you.